Hey everyone, welcome back to our fourth day of week three of Wrapped in Grace, the birth story that changes everything. We're talking this week about naming the baby and the way God told stories and rescued and delivered Israel all throughout the ancient scriptures. And the word for deliverance and for salvation was Yeshua, so closely tied to Jesus' name, the way it sounds, Yeshua. Um, and he came to be our salvation and be our deliverer. So I just love that. I love how the stories connect, how the stories that God wrote a long time before they resurface seem to be complete and enough in themselves. Hannah's story was so good, she had her baby. Samuel grew up, her son grew up to honor God and play such a significant part in Israel's history. And that seemed like a really great finished story. And yet their story continues to teach us. I think that their story taught Mary and it certainly teaches us. So I love how God puts the pieces of his story together. We're just going to pray together today. I know it is such a busy time and we're getting close to Christmas. Um, but as we go through our day, um, let's pray that God will continue to change us through his story. So this is our prayer for today. Heavenly Father, we are in awe yet again, loving how your story changes us. The way you weave together the details of your eternal narrative makes our faith stronger. It makes us want to find our place in your story. What a gift to see your deliverance throughout the Hebrew scriptures and to realize that all along you knew that Yeshua, Jesus, would bring our salvation. That Hannah's story of longing, faith, and sacrificial gratitude may have 1,100 years later become one of your mom's favorite stories is absolutely beautiful. Your ancient stories delight us, especially when they unexpectedly surface centuries later to make new stories richer and more complete. Thank you for preserving your story. Connect us to it. Shape us by it for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. And then not a specific question today if you have the book. There's just a space for some thoughts. Um, remembering Jesus, that his name is Yeshua, that he's our salvation and our deliverer. And remembering that we are connected in this great ancient story. It's also our story. It's an ancient new story because it continues to live and it lives in us. I hope that you guys have a good day. A little shorter today, but just... Keep keeping in mind that this story changes us and the season changes us. I hope every year I'm changed by the story. Thank you for being changed by it with me this year. I will be back tomorrow. We're going to read some more of those um, passages from the Old Testament where the word Yeshua is part of the narrative that lays the foundation for the gospel. So... Have a good night, and I will see you back here tomorrow.